welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Infinifactory. Yeah. This game is fun and I have completed it almost 100%. Uh, I think it's early access, yeah. It's from the same guys who made uh, Space... Uh, space. Hmm. It's another... Uh, oh yeah, Space Chem, as uh, in short for chemicals. And uh, most players won't be able to see this here. That's something that's revealed once you have completed the game. So, what is this? This is uh, one of my favorite genres. It's a puzzle game and it's even in 3D. Space Kim was one of those games you just spent hours and hours on. And uh, <laughs> awesome. So, what is this game about? It's uh, about you're getting some resources and you're asked to produce a product. And then you do that. So, we have different tiers or levels if you want. And. Uh, we have the proving ground, which is sort of the tutorial level. Let's skip that. Let's go right into this one. That's actually something called the first mission. And here I have a solution here, and it gives you something called cycles and footprint. And that's something for you to compete. But also down here you can see uh, other players. The red line indicates my score and my status. You can see my footprint. I'm one of the best tops in footprints uh, it's very hard to beat that but i'm not so good with the cycles meaning i could uh, improve my performance uh, compared to other players so so let's just go into it it's been a while since i've had this open so i can't remember this uh, level uh, it's a fun game it's a fun puzzle and it has some fun uh, moments let's see and yeah, you're flying, you have a jetpack. Let's say, imagine you're in space or something. Let's see if I can get the controls going. Okay. Sometimes you can find a dead or dead astronaut or remains of one laying around here, and they always have some sort of fun pre recorded message for you. <laughs> it's worthwhile going and listening to them. You have these fleets, I'm sure the story was something like refill ammunition. And let's see, what is this showing us? It's showing us how to use uh, pistons. Okay, that's fine. So if we hit play, okay, we can see things are moving there. And my goal is as simple as it can be to move them over to this exit area. So I'm not even going to assembly anything. That's fine. That's fine. So, how do you move things? Well, first thing, we want to push things off this conveyor. And another thing, you notice the rate. You can see there is a space between them. You can increase that rate over here by hitting the plus button. So you can see it, they are coming out as one now. That's what we want. Then I want uh, a sensor. So I'm placing a sensor. And you can see it's pointing downwards, it has this orange square. Then I want to push it out in that direction, meaning I need a piston. I want to rotate my piston and I want to connect it to this one. So whenever something is front, it should push on the piston. Let's see. Yeah, it works. So. Now all I need to do is move it to the exit. There we go. And that's it. Let's uh, hit it R, even F, and Z. Up here, you can see it says one. That's meaning we only need one more. There we go. And let's see, footprint score. I, I, I broke my own record. It's only 27. I'm not sure how I've done it last time. But what's really wondering me is over there, you can see 
in the cycles. Somebody has done this in less than 40 cycles. Now that's interesting. One cycle is, you can see down to the right, one second. So how would you do that in less than 40 seconds? Well, well I can actually, I can see that, I can see that. Let's uh, improve our design by adding another block, another Y, and uh, one of these, meaning we are going to stack up in spaces. There we go. That should have our time. And pause. It's not fast enough. This is the point where they are done, so let's just stop. Meaning uh, they most likely have another. So let's do that. Ah. And see, it's, it's not quite there yet. But I'm quite sure I'm onto the right thing. Of course, this is uh, going to ruin my stats of uh, uh, footprint. Uh, you can see I'm increasing my footprint. It's now 30 and that's bad. But I'm uh, lowering my uh, cycle score. That's good. So it's kind of a trade off. What do you want? Better cycle or better footprint? And you can see, that's my new score right there. My old one. Yeah, that's the same thing. I just had it up there instead of at the end. Same thing. Let's try another level. So, Munitions Refill Type 6. Create a new solution. Let's see. So we want to separate one thing into three. Oh, there's one right there. Shh. Oh, wow. What is that? This must be some sort of shipyard. It's amazing. There are uh, tons of ships here. Those little ones docking with that carrier. They must be shuttles or fighters. And, oh, that one looks like a missile cruiser. Wow, this is a pretty serious armada. I wonder who they're fighting. There we go. How awesome is that? <laughs> That's the storyline. And I, I think it's uh, awesome. Okay, here we go. The way I'm going to solve this is, I need to separate it into three, and let's see, ten in each. So, since I need three, the easiest thing for me is to just to get three blocks out and uh, then pushing them away. So, something like that, there we go, and this one. And there's a reason why I'm trying to make this a bit floaty and not so positive. That's to reduce my footprint size, because my footprint size is actually how many blocks have you been using. There we go. There we go. So, this guy right there. This guy right there. And we can actually optimize this a bit now. So why don't we do that? There we go. Meaning we won't be needing that part. So, let's see. There's a mistake. We need to connect all three to the pipe. So, one, two, three, pipe. Let's remove that and move down here. 
just for for my eyes. And, uh, yeah. It's painful to watch, but it's not censored. There we go. Works fine. Separating one into three. And if you notice, it's never going to stop because I have a problem. Uh, this one is at zero. This one is at zero. And this one is at ten. That's because the second block never turns. It continues on right there. So let's fix that right away. And I'm holding F for speed. There we go. Okay, we can do that even faster because we <coughs> we're not really dependent on anything except the speed, so I'm going to hit plus until we get the max. There we go. I got a new record. My cycles have improved by 30 something. Awesome. My footprint has the same value. So the same value, but a faster cycle. How about that? That's awesome. Okay. Let's do something a bit more hmm, challenging than separating blocks. So let's see. Uh, terminal display reclamation. Shuttle maintenance. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. This one I actually spent quite a bit of time because. Take this one. I'm going to start it. So you can see. These shuttles are spawned right here. And you can see this part, this part, this part is broken. So it's over here. So you need to remove the broken parts. At the same time, you need to uh, build new parts out of that and put them on the shuttle uh, before it's going to exit. Because if it's not correct, you'll get this product error. You made your goal was oh. Dang. Really like it. <laughs> okay. To help us solve that, we have a few problem. uh, problems. Oh, I can't even remember the key for uh, opening my inventory. Let's uh, let's see the key code. Mm. Block menu shift. Yeah, of course. There we go. You have this. Eva is a creator. I don't. I have no idea. But anyway, let's get on with it. We need to remove those top wings. So let's just get this up here. Now we only need one action. So. Oh, it can't flip up. Well, then we're going to place it right there. No, this one. And the same on the other side. Awesome. But we can't have blocks laying around on the floor, so we need one down here as well. Or we could just add it up there. That's fine. And we get this thing going. Okay. So, the next thing is we need to assembly uh, two. One, two, three. Six of these into uh, something useful. Uh, I think it's engines. So, let's just pull them out first of all. And uh, let's see how we're going to do this. They are facing the wrong way, right? Yeah, that's a problem. That means you are not able to weld them together as is. There we go. And they need to be three long, right? And then I'm going to weld them using a welder. There we go. This one. And these things are actually melting the blocks together. You can 
empty. There we go, now they are stuck and we need to move them along once they reach this area. And we do that by setting up a sensor right here. Let's, let's add some wire the sensor can hang on. Once the sensor has power, it should push a block. Something like that. There we go, and we get these separate bad boys. <laughs> so we want to separate them in two by two, so do that by M1, two. That. And again, I'm going to add two push blocks. It's just the easiest way to uh, adjust things, and uh, they are going to block it this way at the same time, so that's perfect. Meaning, whenever I have two of these, you both go. Let's see how we're going to do that. You go that way, and you go. That's not going to work. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then turn. Hmm. Let's see. What's going oh, yeah, we forgot to add just the, the push, the actual pushing uh, mechanism. One, two, three. There we go. Add a sensor. Turn it the right way. At the same time, we need to stop this uh, thing from driving too far. So let's stop it right here. And uh, you can use these push blocks and hit Alt, Snow C, and they will act inverse. So it's going to stop right there. Let's see. There we go. That's actually uh, not bad. It's not fast enough, uh, but it's not bad. Let's see how we can uh, improve on that. So, this is actually at the correct length. So, this we like. That's a problem. Needs to move one more back and one more in. Okay, that one is correct, this one is misaligned. Let's get that back right there and <clears throat> then we need them to stop at the correct height as well, so that's up here. Let's see, one, two, right? Or is it three? It's three. Now the height of the block is three, so they're going to stop right there. But then we need to weld it all together. Let's see, how are we going to do that? We are going to do this. And then we're going to add a welder right there, right there, right there, and right there. And then you may say, oh, you can uh, drop items through the floor when you're correct. I'll do this. There we go. This is possible. Then we need to stop the next one. What I'm looking for right now is which block is the last. It's this one that is the last. Just need to reconfirm my positions. No, they need to stick to the out one. And 
actually do that. Okay. So, how long are the units? They are far long, meaning uh, we need to set up something so we don't get a problem. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We're going to add a push block right there. So, going to place this one right over. Let's see. Uh, I need to add a sensor now to detect when the, the spaceship has arrived in its position and attach it to this block back here so that uh, additional spaceships won't be pushed up behind it. Do this. Go. Go. When this arrives, we should get a block behind it. There we go. And then when this one arrives, it should uh, inverse everything. There we go. Okay. That's actually... Uh, reasonable. So, I'm going to add a sensor right there. Make sure it's pointing inwards. Add some cables. It needs to be back here. This allows the other one to move forward. Perfect. Now oh, I just need to uh, realign it back here. I saw it was moving off the track. Oh, well, that's wrong. That's a that's a problem. No, not really. Perfect. And we are. Uh, switching motors on the ships quite easily, quite fast, no problem whatsoever. Uh, my old best was 160, right now I did 170, my old best was 215, my new one is 270. So it was actually worse. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, Go and see how I did it the last time. I'm sure it's something similar. Yeah, I'm shaving off the... That's two blocks less, at least right there. And I'm welding out here, so that could be optimized actually by using the welder like I did before. Okay, so this goes in. Opens. Blocks fall down, get pushed into the shoulder, opens. Hmm. Yeah, I actually like this uh, this one much better. <laughs> Two pistons are not really needed. I think I added them so uh, in case multiple blocks come down, they wouldn't just be pushed in. It And the assembly up here, I'm just getting in all the blocks, pushing them back. Also, yeah. There we go and one, two, three of them. Anyway, I hope you get the idea of this game. Um, let's uh, let's try one of uh, the harder ones. I think it, this one was one of the hardest. Yeah, you have. Well, I'm not going over it. I'm just going to let you watch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's one of the more interesting uh, challenges. Uh, took a while to actually build up the entire thing, and uh, <laughs> that's fun. So, once you complete, uh, let's uh, see, we completed the tutorial. Let's see, if we get this. Uh, performance review i can't click it again that's a bit sad because that's kind of a, a story part of the entire game uh, except you can't really understand what they're saying but you still understand what's going on very well uh, so that's actually pretty cool and of course you can uh, make your own challenges uh, i made one and it's actually a tricky one because due to some error you can't it's impossible to solve in the first go uh, check that out you can see you get this this block and uh, this block first this one then this one and the same over here so you get this uh, strange block and uh, <laughs> That will actually cause your design to fail. Uh, however, now I stopped it and I'm going to start it again. Check this out. The block doesn't appear. <laughs> it's only the first time. Meaning, every time you load this level, you get this extra block that's unusable. Uh, that might be confusing, and I, I like that. <laughs> This one is just building some uh, cannon turrets, as you can see right there. So get two turret lines, so add one actual base line, and you just plop them together like that. No biggie. A lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, there's actually someone I'd like to show you. That's my cat. Uh, <laughs> uh, he also enjoys the game. And he, he, he likes to, to press my keyboard when I'm playing. And his hair is shedding like crazy because it's, it's uh, spring. Uh, anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments please rate and uh, subscribe and I'll see you next time bye